Alrighty guys, so we came here, we're gonna finally fix the speedometer. We have the Dakota digital box right here. This is going to solve all the problems with the speedometer. And we are at Nick's place. And we're gonna finally get it fixed. We got the hood popped. It's pretty simple for the most part, this uh, install. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is your, yeah, this is your reverse light. The white one is. And this is the power to it. Yeah. So one of these is wires that are going to be connected to the whole thing, or? This harness goes up there. So this is the one that goes underneath your dash. Yep, okay, so we're looking for that brown and yellow with a yellow stripe this comes off your tranny and ties into that's for that's for a digital dash like uh what do you call them race packs oh that's what that's for it'll plug and play into it yeah pretty, Dang. pretty nifty if you ever I was about got to say one. I might yeah, as well just, do that they're cool <laughs> They're expensive though. Yeah, that's what I saw. I was actually looking at that. These wires go into the PCM. Basically, it just needs to go in line somewhere in here. Is that speed dial? Yep. That's part of the control pack? Yeah. We spliced it in, or it runs down to your speed sensor, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have the correct calibration. It would work if you were to, like you, like I said, you use a Dakota box in the middle of it and it'll work. Because this end goes to your goes to your cluster, and the other end going down there in the, in the shroud goes to your speed sensor. Okay. Um, what I need to go down there and check is which wires go to what. So we're going to have to jack it up. That one in there. Two wires, blue with yellow and white with a red. Somewhere somewhere they change colors here. There it is. Where do you want this? Like right here? Yeah, that's perfect. Uh no 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 no. Because if I'm going to try and use that OBD2 port, I don't oh, want yeah, that yeah. to be in the way. Good call. Um, um, you want it out? You want it hidden? You want it Actually, let's more? stick it towards more towards, yeah, keep going. In. Yeah, like right there. Somewhere like right there. Yeah. Right there? Yeah, that'd be good. Right yeah, there yeah that'd be good. Yeah. That's far enough away. Yeah. yeah, you can do that. What good do you? Um, wait, hold on. Uh, a little bit to the right, right there. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Go basically right there. Oh. In there is my strippers. Sensor ground should be white, and then green is sensor in. Yeah, sensor ground is white. And green is sensor in. Oh, heck yeah. You got rid of your pressure sensor? Your pressure sensor? Your digital one? Didn't you have a digital oh, one? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, turn it off. Alrighty, so I think we got everything hooked up. Um, now Nick is moving his truck so we can back the car up so we can get the thing calibrated and have the speedometer read correctly. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. Alright, so we got the mile an hour right there. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it. I got to change inputs until we find the right one. Yeah. So. Alright. Okay, it's too fast. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>
<laughs> we are hauling ass right now. All right, too much, too much. Anymore. Too much boost. <laughs> Top of the hood. Holy crap. <laughs> Just real quick, how are you adjusting this? Just so it's like a, the people it's know. It's a guide right here to have. It's a lot of different buttons, so I can't really tell you every single thing yeah. you can just read it online okay it. i'll put it in the description so you're just going off of that and then dialing it in because mm -hmm. you get it to where it's working and then you got to set you got to bring it down and set it up right so i think it's at 4.0 right now go in in your car again i need you to turn it on and off all right round three So each time we're like setting it slower and slower, like we started out with 140 and now we're going slower and we're fixing it all the way down. So let's see what it's at now. Still reading. Kind of high. That little pull went up to 20 miles an hour. What were you doing on your phone? Oh, I was easily probably five miles an hour. All right, round four. Zero miles an hour, wow, that exposure is so high. All right, let's go. 4 miles an hour. It's reading correctly now. It's perfect. Huh? It's perfect. Perfect? Yep. All right, hang on. It read 4 on there and it was 4 up here, so I think we're gonna go for a test drive and find out for real. So now it's reading a little bit low, so we have to adjust it just a tad bit. It's like five miles an hour off, so we're gonna go ahead and try and fix that. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> we got our speedo to work. So the speedometer, oh, how do we go back? There we go. So we have the GPS speedometer right there. And this is our actual one, so it is reading correctly now. So let's go at a steady 20 miles an hour, which is 20 right there. Hold on, and we're going 20 on there. Perfect. Now let's go to 40. Let's go to 40 on here. All right, steady at 40. And we're at 40 right there. So we are all good. Actually, let's go up to 50 and see if it's good there too. All right, so we're at 50 right there. We're cruising and we're at 50. So the speedometer finally works. We are all good. Alrighty, so real quick, let me just show you something. So each of these little screws right here, Wow, it's really hot. So each of these little screws right here, you tighten the, you tighten that to squeeze in the wire, and you stick the wire up in there, tighten it with the tiny screwdriver, and uh, you should be good. Now, to calibrate it, you have to uh, just read the diagram. I'll link in the description. Uh, but for mine, it's 0 0.38. So that's what mine is set at and it fixed my speedometer. Now, if you have a Coyote swap, it might be a little bit different, but you can go ahead and start off that and go off that if you guys want to. Um, so for mine, it was 0 0.38, and it works perfectly. The speedometer is now finally working. So it's actually the next day. It's actually in the morning. Uh, I forgot to do an outro to this video, so this is that. Super stoked that I finally got the speedo to work. It's been almost a year since I had the speedometer to work on the Coyote Swap. Um, that's the like the only, one of the only things that didn't work when I got the Coyote Swap was the speedometer, which was done in January. So I've been riding around with no speedometer for about a year almost. But um, you can almost, when you're driving, you can almost feel how fast you're supposed to be going. And plus, I knew exactly how fast I was going. Um, I could read it off the RPMs. But yeah, the speedometer is finally working. So stoked about that. It was a pretty easy install for the most part. Just cut the wires, hook it in, rewire the 
the wires back in the thing in the Dakota box and just set it up diagram it that's the the hardest part really was um, dialing it in the whole thing and figuring out what number fit the speedometer to read correctly but that was the hardest part and it really wasn't that hard so we finally got the speedo to work now we need to go ahead and get the fuel gauge to work and which I believe I know what the problem is with the fuel gauge so I'm gonna test that out and try and fix that I think I know what it is I don't think it's damaged or anything I think I kind of messed something up so go ahead and fix that that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video we got things things are finally being done on the coyote swap uh, we're just one step closer to being completely done and uh, as far as getting things fixed you know we got to get that boost in so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to smash like button and uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel make sure to hit the button and like always guys have a great day peace